I am Professor Charan Singh, uh, RBHA Professor of Economics at IIM Bangalore. Uh, before joining here in December 2012, I had uh, been working at the International Monetary Fund for about three years. And before that, I was with the Reserve Bank of India where I have worked for more than two decades. I joined them as a research officer in 1984. I've also worked as a probationary officer in Punjab National Bank. And before that, I did a short stint as a lecturer in economics. My areas of research are little wider and that basically comes from my experience having worked in the Reserve Bank for more than two decades and also having worked with the International Monetary Fund for more than three years. At present, uh, I am basically working on areas which are related to fiscal policy and monetary policy. My key area of research in the past for my MPhil and PhD has been debt management. I have been working on issues related to debt management, debt management and consumption, debt management and monetary impact, debt management and growth. And then uh, at Harvard, I did my postdoctorate studies with Professor Robert Barrow. And therein, I was looking at separation of debt from monetary management. For a long time, I have been writing on this issue on separation of debt and monetary management. And as you would be aware, debt management uh, brings in the nexus between the monetary and fiscal policy. So most of my research then follows and uh, is between these two areas. As far as my specific areas of research are concerned, I have been looking at asset prices and that is wherein the housing markets become very important. I have been also looking at gold which has become very very relevant in the past few years and looking at how we can monetize gold sitting in the households in India. I have also been working on financial inclusion. Another related issue on which I have been working recently is aging and that again comes from my experience at the RBI where we used to be looking at the financial instruments that aging population would require. Obviously, in the last few years, with the growth having suffered, non-performing assets have increased very rapidly in our country. And therefore, I have been looking at what these non-performing assets are, why are they increasing, and what are the ways to address this issue and keep the non-performing assets under control. Economists cannot be away from the society and with experience one begins to understand that there are social maladies and there could be economic factors in it. One of that social problem which attracts my attention and I have been writing is women issues and their contribution to the economy. That is another area on which I am beginning to think and beginning to write as to if women in our country suffer would that be good for an economy or bad for an economy? And should we do, should we take measures where women issues are brought in the forefront, their contribution to the economic development is recognized and proper social security is provided to them both at home and at workplace and probably that will lead us to higher economic growth. One more issue, which is a social issue, is inflation, which is impacting everybody uh, in our country. I have been writing and beginning uh, to talk about inflation targeting in recent months. According to my research, inflation targeting is probably not appropriate for a country like India, which is having demographic dividends. Population is young and inflation targeting has generally been adopted by countries where population is not so young and not so dynamic. So I have been questioning the concept of inflation targeting. And that is another area of research which has been taking lots of my time because most of the time it is considered modernizing monetary system implies inflation targeting. And I have yet to come across evidence which shows that the multiple indicator approach that was adopted in our country in 1998 was faulty or has become faulty in the recent years. That is another area on which I think economists need to devote lots of time. It impacts everybody in the society. 
Thank you.